you're never going to fit in. I know you spent many nights and days trying to dress like them, trying to talk like them, trying to hang around them, but you're going to always be out of place because God, he will not let you settle in being a part of the crowd. He wanted you to lead the crowd. The thing that you're experiencing right now, you're trying to cover up and trying to, you know, fix yourself up to be just like them. You're trying to put on the right clothes, the right cologne or perfume to try to cover up the um, ambiance and the scent of God aroma on you. And you're trying to you're trying to smell how they smell and look how they look. But God didn't create you for that. He wanted you real the way you are. He wanted you raw the way you are. He wanted you scars and all. He wanted you pain and all with disappointments and all because the leader in you will draw other leaders. The leader of misfits in you will draw other misfits who's been feeling like they don't belong, but in reality, they've been out of place trying to conform to a spot that they never fit into. Who am I talking to? In this season of your life, I pray you embrace you and all that you've experienced because that version of you, God wants to heal. That version of you, God wants to use. That version of you is going to bring forth posture and position. And I hope you stop trying to fit in. And I hope that you get comfortable with standing out because that you is going to break generational curses. That you is going to be able to confront your curse by name. That you is going to be able to bypass the addiction that their relatives experience or that you are experiencing right now. It's going to break off of you. That you knows power. That you knows is not about your mom. That you knows it's not about the addiction. That you knows it's not about your daddy. That you knows that as soon as you get comfortable, as soon as you're capable of walking in who you truly are and who you were created to be, the power is going to come from that. And not just power, you're going to be able to stand in the front to be able to lead others out of their mess, out of their addictions, out of their curses, out of their trauma, out of their pain. That's the you that God wants to use, not this Thank you. Not this this perfumed cologne you, not this I'm going to dress the part so people won't notice me. You, the filthy you, the person that's walked through mess, the person that's been toiling and being addicted to pornography and sex, the person that does drugs, the person that has been on alcohol, they can't put it down. That version of you, once you accept who that version of you, God can use you because now you're honest about who you are. That's the you that God wants to use, not the liar you, not the I'm going to try to spray cologne and perfume to mask who I really am you, but the real, raw, unadulterated you. That's the you that God is going to use because that you is like somebody else out there who's afraid to speak up. Who's afraid to say I'm dirty? Who's afraid to say I'm addicted? Who's afraid to say I'm in pain? Who's afraid to say I'm hurting? You know why you're going to help that you? You know why you're going to help them? Because you are them. You've been toiling with the same things they've been toiling with. But once you unpack this mask and take it off, strip off this, this version of yourself that says I'm perfect, strip off this version of you that says I smell good and I'm clean, strip off this version of you that isn't real because you're trying to fit in. Once you strip it off, God is going to do a new thing in your life. God is going to do a great thing in your life. God wants to break generational curses. He wants you to be able to confront your curses by name. It was addiction. It was your mama. 
It wasn't the beating. It was your daddy. Because before there was anger, there was a vice. There was a man. There was a woman. There was a person holding a mantle. There was a person with a choice to continue the cycle or to break it. And that person needs to be you. That person to escape trauma and addictions and abuse or heal and be transformed by the renewing of our mind or to be conformed by the experiences and our old thinking. Beloved, your curse has a name and God wants to heal you from it. Sometimes it's your family and sometimes it's you. And you must get to that place where fear no longer takes root so you can confront every demon in disguise that has been a disease in your life. Every hell orchestrated attack disguised as a habit that you've gotten used to. You have to confront the thing that has been killing your lineage, not just in your body, but in your mind and in your spirit. You have to break that generational curse so you can't be afraid to confront it and take your future back, take your joy back, take your lineage back. I went through it, but it ends with me. I drowned in it, but I'm building a raft for my children. I hid in it, but God is bringing me to the light. 